What's up, y'all? It's Debbie, and I'm back with a new formation that's in Green Bay Playbook and also a lot more. It's new in Madden this year, so y'all need to check it out. And I'm going to show you how to beat every coverage for a touchdown and to use the hash marks to your advantage. If you like this video and want to see more of these, please hit the sub and hit the like button. Want to get this over 200 likes. And the play we're going to use is in the gun stack Y flex formation in Green Bay. But I told you this is in a lot of playbooks. It's new in Madden. And we're going to use PA read. Now, an advanced tactic in Madden is understanding what the hash marks do. Where you should look to attack deep down the field depending on which hash mark you're on. It makes such a big difference and is overlooked by a lot of these YouTube tips and a lot of these ebooks that are put out there. You need to really pay attention to where you are on the field in relation to the defense and how it affects that. And I'll show you that in this tip. And on a lot of my offensive tips will be based on hash marks because I've always played Madden like this. So here we go. We're going to play cover four and we're going to try to bomb deep. We're on the right hash here and we're going to try to bomb cover four deep. And what happens here, we do it up top and we don't quite get behind the safety. Gabriel makes a play, but he's not really behind the safety. And you notice that. So you know what we're going to do in practice? Well, we're going to try what happens if I put the ball over here on the left hash. Maybe that'll, because the wide receiver starts on the far side, maybe it would hold the strong safety down a little bit more. And we'll see here in this way, it's way more open. We throw it over top of the strong safety, and he's nowhere near Taylor Gabriel on the deep post for a touchdown on cover four. So what's that telling me? If I want to bomb cover four, I need to be on this left hash and have my, my wide receivers run from the, you know, the furthest away from that strong safety. So he kind of doesn't see them. That's how it works. You know, if they're far enough away, then they're not going to see him. That's kind of how my PA dagger play works. And also this one. The deep post will get over the, the strong safety deep quarter for a touchdown. And here we go. Cover three is the opposite. Cover three, I've always felt like the, the closer the post is to the middle of the field to start, the better. Because what you essentially what you want this post to do is run by the safety's face. Because you're going to isolate that solo safety. As you see, the corner who's Josh Norman will never see this post. He'll always be preoccupied. So you want the, you know, the 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 wide receiver to run by the safety as soon as possible. So the closer he is to the safety to start, the better. So for cover three, I want to be on the right hash to burn cover three. That's the way I've seen that beats cover three the best. And this is simply cover two. And the cover two this year, honestly, it doesn't matter what hash mark you're on. You have a deep post in cover two, it's going to absolutely dominate it. That one was on the right hash, and here you'll see it on the left hash. Once again, it's wide open. This is, I mean, cover two right now is just the safeties really bail out to the sidelines, leaving the middle wide open. And here we go. We're going to run. This is just two men under. And you see Gabriel. Essentially, two men under is just the same as cover two, but you'll have everybody manned up. What you want to attack is the deep shell, and that's the way you do it with the post. And the deep shell won't cover, and man, no, there's nobody that's running with Taylor Gabriel in man coverage. That's why you got to use your fastest receivers to run these deep posts. Make big plays for your offense, but always pay attention to hash marks, where you are on the field, how far away you are, the closer you get to the end zone. Obviously, you're not going to be able to bomb them. So always be aware of where you are on the field, how you want to score a touchdown, and what defense your opponent is sitting in. Now, these plays work the best when you kind of anticipate what defense they're going to run. Okay, they're running cover four. Let me make sure I'm on the left hash. Okay, they're sitting in cover three. Let me make sure I'm on the right hash to run this play, and so on and so forth. So recognizing what your opponent is doing, recognizing where you're at on the field, there's a lot that goes on to it, but that's a play out of the gun wide stack formation that you can use to score one play touchdowns up and down the field. If you like this video, please hit the sub, hit the bell notifications, and let you know when new new videos are coming out, new ways to kill your opponent deep down the field. Thank y'all. I'm out of here.